Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic and uh, this is a super spicy deck. So uh, you guys have seen me run into this uh, probably in the last, uh, like I, I think the last week I've had like two videos that ran into this deck. So Song of Creation Mill is a busted deck and I've seen a couple different variations. Uh, I went ahead and kind of rebuilt my own based off what I've seen, uh, kind of t taking from another deck I found as well. Uh, and Song of Creation, for Chromaticos, you may play an additional land on each of your turns. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. Anytime you just cast a spell, you draw two cards. There's a downside of at the beginning of your end step, you discard your hand. Well, what we're trying to do is basically go for a turn four, turn five combo kill. On turn three, you want to play Teferi's Tutelage. Teferi's Tutelage, three mana. Whenever it enters the battlefield, draw a card, then discard a card. And then whenever you draw two cards, target opponent mills two cards. And so we are trying to mill them out on turn four with this deck, which is totally possible. The way that we do it, is that we go for Song of Creation on turn four, you know, have the Fairy Tutelage already out in the battlefield, and then we're gonna start just drawing cards like crazy by casting spells. So we do get an additional land, so we can play a land, play something like Opt or Rose Thorn Acolyte, which we can then, uh, for one mana, add another mana of any color. We can just kind of chain those together and go off. We also have just a bunch of zero cost spells. So we have Stone Cold Serpent, Tormod's Crypt. There is also Ugin's Conjurant, which is another version of this. Uh, we're, we're gonna be playing uh, a few different versions maybe along the way, like I might change it up a bit. I decided to take out all of the Ugin's Conjurants to add in the Rose Thorn Acolytes, uh, which is uh, something you can play, and then you can also replay it again uh, with Song of Creation. Like, like if you if you don't get to mill them out on that turn, it's just nice to be able to have this in Exile to be able to cast and go off again with it. Uh, so I, I'm not sure which one's better, being have a, a completely zero cost card or a semi free card that requires green mana. So we're gonna see exactly what's the best way to go with it, because I think if we're comboing off on turn five, Rose Thorn Acolytes better. If we're trying to combo off exactly on turn four every single time Ugin's Chandrons are maybe a little bit better but here's the rest of the deck so what else we're trying to do is we're trying to opt into our combo pieces we're trying to get there with growth spiral radical ideas radical idea also really great because jumpstart it also lets us cast it from the graveyard uh same thing with uro so if we do song of creation we have to we have entire our entire deck basically into our hand we've tried to mill them out and maybe we didn't quite get there they're playing yorion or something like that we have to go for game uh turn two then we can throw all of our stuff into the graveyard we can have jumpstart start red uh uro or the rose thorn acolytes uh be able to play again to get it going again on the next turn so that's kind of the plan the cool thing with radical idea is that you can do that at least at instant speed so we can start drawing some cards mill them over a little bit more with uh if we you know on their turn i guess we if we were able to do that we probably wouldn't be able to do it anyway but yeah so that is the basically the deck we have storm to help us uh, protect us from board wipes or from just like a massive uh deck same thing with scorching dragonfire a couple pieces in case we need to you know kill things immediately uh being able to kill like uh teferi is nice uh being able to you know so storm wrath scorching dragonfire really good for us uh for the longer games and then uro really great gains us life draws us cards is great to play after the turn uh after we go off with it and so that is that's the game plan get to fairy tutelage onto the battlefield first and then get song of creation second uh once we do that we should be able to combo off and win so the hard part is making sure that we have the right order of that that nothing dies with teferi's tutelage that they don't counter song of creation and it is a combo deck we're just hoping they don't counter what we're doing and overall this is a super fun deck so let's go ahead and try to uh, get into the gameplay see how it does for us hopefully we can mill some people out and yeah here we go all right so i don't know what's happening with my uh computer i have the, the mouse with a little like plus sign um, that happened like just before I started recording this video and it's really, really weird. So we have Teferi's Tutelage, we have mana to get to everything. Um, we're gonna go ahead and keep this. We do have a lot of tapped lands, but we're gonna get out Triumph first. Like with Opt, we're kind of fine with tapped lands. Hopefully we can find some other stuff. Pelt Collector. I could shock this and kill that. Um, I think that we're fine here for a little bit though. So Teferi, uh, yeah, Mystery, we do need four lands. We also need to make sure we're digging into our, our uh, Song of Creation. So maybe we drop this to the bottom. I mean, like, let's just go for Storm's Wrath. We need double red. We're gonna go ahead and keep it. We're gonna play a little bit more um, controly here for the first bit. Oh, that's so good. All right, opt. Go ahead and draw that. That's fine. Let's see here. How do we... Can they get above the Storm's Wrath by the next turn? That's the that's the wonder. Because we could Uro right now. Um, try to keep digging for our stuff. 
Song of Creation and go for... So I think this is what we do. So we have Storm's Wrath for the next turn. Hopefully they don't be... They're not too big. Okay, we need to find Song of Creation still. So drawing cards is good. Okay, don't put lots of counters on it. That's fine. Down to 15. Life's fine. Ooh, double Storm's Wrath. Ooh, the lolly. All right, let's see if they have... Uh, they could have her like heroic intervention. Unbreakable formation, Kate. Okay. Keeps him alive. Team events tap, pass the turn. Let's see if they expect the second one. Okay, Conclave Mentor. <laughs> we had two! Take it, fool! Yeah, they gain some life, that's fine. Breeding pool. Uh, we could Scorching Dragonfire here. I'm not sure how quickly they can rebuild with this deck. I, I Actually, I know how quickly they can rebuild with this deck sometimes. Nothing should have haste, though. Man, that plus is really annoying me. Sorry if it's annoying you guys, too. I'll probably have to re restart. All right. Unpunished. Couldn't do anything anyway. Uh, let's go for... We'll go for the Teferi's Tutelage first. Draw a card. That's Song of Creation. All right, so we drop Scorching Dragonfire. Um, we play Uro, trying to dig for zero-cost cards. And gain us a little bit of life. Mill them a little bit more. That's not a zero-cost card. Uh, so, I mean, we haven't found any of them, which means that we should have a really good chance of just playing Song of Creation and going off here. Hey, how you doing, Jesus? <laughs> I don't get to say that that often. Just saying. Pretty cool stuff. All right. Song of Creation into Grow Spiral. Draw three cards. Mill them six. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, we're going off, we're going off. Sweet. Uh, we'll go for the Stone Cold Serpent X0 first. Yeah, uh-huh. All right, starting to build up. Dude, this deck, it's going off, it's so sweet. All right, we play our extra land. We'll play Ot. I wanna save green mana for the Rose Thorn Acolytes. Um, so opting now, we get to Eventually opt and then draw our scry. So yeah, to the bottom. We are actually... Okay, there we go. I was going to say, we're not actually going off just yet. All right, Stone Cold Serpent, X0. Confirm. That's a lot of lands. All right, come on. We have to be able to do this. We have to find more stuff. Okay, I haven't played a land yet. So Breeding Pool, pay two, Grow Spiral. What are they at now? 20 cards left. All right, so there's a free card. Yeah, maybe we do need more free spells into it. I mean, we are coming off. We do have enough that we should be able to do this right now. Uh, so put land onto the battlefield. Let's go for forest. Okay, X zero spell. 14 cards left. Draw two, mill four more. Wow, seriously, we didn't find more stuff. Maybe, yeah, maybe we are missing out here at this deck. Okay, mill everything. Didn't quite combo off, down to nine cards left. And that was just kind of uh, unlucky drawing. So many lands. But at the same time, we have Uros in the graveyard to be able to go off with here. Um, down to three, so they couldn't kill us. Draw the card. All right, so there, so we were one one card off. So, Rose Sword Acolyte, draw a couple. Yeah, mill some more cards. Add green mana. Do it again. Rose Sword Acolyte. So we do get to still win on the the turn after that. I mean, this this is one of those where like if people have uh, Elspeth Conqueror's Death or whatever. Uh, you can do different things, but that's fine. All right, so that's game. We're going to go ahead and pass the turn. Let them have it, and that's the game. All right, sweet. 
Dude. All right, this deck, this deck is fun. I like it. Yeah, that was that was a little closer than I was hoping for, but we did get it on game one. Uh, and I think I'm gonna restart just to get rid of this little mouse bug. Oh no, actually, we never have it happen. You know, maybe we should just like leave it here for for a game. Uh, Teferi's Ageless Insight is another card that actually goes pretty well into this deck. Uh, we just barely pulled that off of one of the free cards, which I, I never get good cards out of that, so that was pretty sweet. Uh, Reveroff, up against Reveroff. Um, all right, keep this. We get to scry, see if we want to Scorch and Dragonfire, hopefully play some more tapped lands. Teferi's True Village to draw one free spell. This also ramps us so that we can have a little bit more mana to play more things. Um, so we'll see. All right, Temple of Abandon. Um, double Teferi's Tutelage. We do have just like a lot of card draw in this deck as well. And that is a way to draw cards to find Song of Creation, but I think we're trying to dig for more songs. Like if we happen to run into more Teferi's Tutelage, that's fine, but we're not gonna scry into him. All right, they're also milling. <laughs> Did we lose a Song of Creation? Rude, that was on top. Big jerk face. All right, scry again. I'm not sure how good scrying is going to be doing for us here. Um, if they're milling themselves too, maybe we go all in on the mill plan. I'm also debating if they're going to just mill us again. So I'm fine if that does go to the graveyard. We'll go ahead and keep it on top. All right, yeah, what did they mill over? Meyer Triton. All right, yeah, so mills us again. That's fine. Radical idea to the graveyard. Uh, this is where we want to find Tormod's Crypt. Tormod's Crypt would be great to be able to stop them from doing graveyard shenanigans. All right, so I think we go to Fairy's Tutelage here. Just start getting a little bit more aggressive with the mill. Try to draw some cards. Drop Steam Vents. I probably should drop the Triome. Pass the turn. All right, Cavalier Thorns. Casualties of War. They've hit a lot of lands. Takes Radical Idea. Rude. So the other one is getting to uh, bring something back to hand. Okay. Finding a Titans, it's an interesting card for sure. All right, let's go Grow Spiral. We're just trying to dig for Song of Creation. Uh, not working so great so far. Uh, we could use this to cycle. So let's put Mountain on top. Uh, draw a card, make a mill. Pay two. Uh, let's cycle now. All right, Tormod's Crypt isn't bad. All right, so play Tormod's Crypt. Pass the turn. All right, this way we can, if they ever target something from their from their graveyard, we can uh, stop them. If they dig for, if they go for the Cavalier of Thorns, we're gonna go ahead and just crack this, I think. If they hit a land, I'm fine with that. We'll wait. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So yeah, land is fine. Yeah, you can post links in chat. That's fine. Ooh, Nissa, 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 Nissa. Maybe we should have stopped them from hitting that land. I we don't know if they had another land in hand anyway, though. And we, I definitely wasn't expecting Nissa right now. We have an answer for that somewhere. Actually, we have an answer for Nissa. So pass to my turn, draw a card, not a Song of Creation, still. All right, so Scorching Dragonfire, Nissa twice. And we're just gonna have to try to survive the 3-3. I mean, we can bring out a massive Stone Cold Serpent soon too. So pass the turn, soon as we hit Song of Creation, life is grand. We are kind of milling them still. They're down to half their deck. What's all in here? All right, Cavalier of Thorns. 
Uh, yeah, that's big. Down to 12, pass to my turn. Radical idea. All right, so we can make this a 5-5. Five, five. Which blocks here, but doesn't block here. We can Radical Idea twice to try to dig for Song of Creation. I don't actually have enough mana to use it just yet. Um, or we can just take our beats for a turn. So I think we go try to take our beats. Radical Idea. I mean, this is the game plan, right? Temple of Mystery. Let's see what's on top. Another land. Um, bring in X3. I could play this for more ramp. All right, radical idea. This is instant speed, right? All right, X1 for the snake. And then we'll radical idea to try to dig. This just protects us a little bit. Pass the turn. Oh, that's bad. Is that game? Well, dang it. Yeah, because of the plus two, they get 14 damage. We can block one. Ah, come on. All right, this is... If we finally find Song of Creation here, I'm going to be angry. We did have Song of Creation on the top at one point, and we just missed it. All right, good game. I'm going to exile your graveyard for fun. <laughs> All right. All right, down to 20 cards. Like, even just one Teferi's Tutelage wasn't bad. If we had kept the, the early on, kept the other one, um, which, did that get milled right away? Or, yeah, so we wouldn't have had it anyway, but it would have been inter interesting to see just with Song of uh, Teferi's Tutelage if we had a couple of them just milling them like crazy. We might have had a decent shot, shot there. So, not bad. This is definitely a, a janky deck, you know, so I'm fine with jankier things happening here and there. Sorry, I'm taking my notes, just letting myself know what happened in the game, because it's easier to edit after the fact. All right, up against Landugar. Bring it on, Landugar. And we have Song of Creation. We can win with just Song of Creation and try to dig for, like, Teferi's Tutelage and stuff. Although, well, kind of. Actually, can we win with just that? Uh, so there is the other side. Like, some people play uh, Thassa's Oracle in this deck as well. Uh, we do not have Thassa's Oracle to go for that plan. So, honestly, I think we have to mulligan and try to find Teferi's Tutelage. All right, we found it. Keep six, drop. Ooh, no, not that. This one. Yeah, and this should be good. So now we're just digging for free spells to be able to go off on the turn. That's one of them. Um... I'm actually tempted to just hold on to the opt as well to try to just see if we can go all the way off with it. We do need to find the fourth land, so we'll find the fourth land first. Um, green could have some enchantment removal. I'm not sure if they're really playing that much. Uh, Don Pablito, thanks so much for the follow. We're up to uh, 1,720 followers. Sweetness. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep that. That's not bad. Let's just not have another land. All right. That's that's good. Temple of Mystery. Uh, we don't need two Song of Creations. We need more free spell stuff. Pass the turn. So yeah, next turn we go to Fairy's Tutelage. Uh, and then we Shock and Stomping Ground, Song of Creation, Stone Cold Serpent. Hope to find enough. If we don't, we discard Uro and the hand, and we should be able to play Uro from the graveyard to then at least go off on the next turn. All right, Stone Cold Serpent of their own. Down to 17. <clears throat> yeah, Teferi's Toot. Uh, now I think we just drop the Uro. We do get two land drops, so having two lands isn't bad. Pass the turn. What do we mill over? Harbinger and Titanic Growth. All right. 
We shouldn't be dead on this turn. But every time I say that, you know. All right, right. We should be able to go off and win. We get a shot. We get a shot to do it. I mean, we're dead after that if we don't actually make this work. So uh, a little bit frightening. No pressure. All right, Song of Creation. We have two free spells. Or not two free, two spells here. So X0. All right, we get another free spell. All right, so now we add, um, we go for green mana instead, pay two life, we go Rose Thorn Acolyte, and then we add blue with it so that we can uh, play the opt. Actually, now we add green again. So add green, Rose Thorn Acolyte, draw two cards. Okay, there's a free spell. Um, add blue, Tormod's Crypt, all right, come on, please let us keep going, this is the moment of truth, they're down to 30 cards, so half of their deck, um, that wasn't it, dude, so we, we get one more draw with the opt, Come on, free spell, free spell, free spell. We got it! Okay, sweet. Okay, right, we're still going. <laughs> All right, uh, X zero, two more card draw. Oh no. All right, that was it. I think we lost. No, so close. So close. All right, good game. Pass the turn. <laughs> Dig it, all right. So this is the thing we ran into. So like, we want more card draw to be able to actually get into our Song of Creation. We found that on the last game, if we had just found the Song of Creation, we would have been able to do it, uh, or most likely. Um, in this game, we just didn't have enough stuff, uh, enough free spells to go off with it, and which partly is luck, but partly because we just don't have enough of it. So maybe we do just want to have um, um, everything here. So I, they, they have the game. They actually have the Song of Creation uh, thing. They're probably like conflicted here. Okay, what do I do now? I have the Song of Creation stuff. Uh, all right, if you're not gonna kill me, I'm gonna go into you. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I could have waited to see, but they have the game. I'm not gonna take a pity scoop. Uh, we did combo off, didn't quite finish. And so here's the question. Do we need to bring in like Ugin's Conjurance or two more copies of, of Tormod's Crypt is the question. Um, and let's see here. What would we drop though? Because the issue is, so yeah, less rascal. Radical idea. Yeah, let's go down one more radical idea. Because we have arrows, we have rose or acolytes. So let's go down to like one copy of it. I think one copy is good enough. Um, we should be able to play arrow anytime that we have song of creation out. And so let's go up. Um, the Ugin's Conjuring, I guess. I have seen people, put, seen people play with Teferi's Ageless Inside as well, which draws you a lot more cards. But it's another combo piece that's not worth having. Uh, Ugin. Ugin's Conjurant. I think more free spells will be nice. Just be able to have it another time. Wait, we need we need to add uh, change the card back as well. What am I doing? I don't have the Song of Creation one, unfortunately. Uh, we'll, we'll go for this. Uh, if I had waited one more turn, I would have been dead. I didn't have enough removal in the hand to actually do anything with that. Uh, unless, I guess I could have gone for the Stone Cold Serpent, but... Um, it's, that, that was what was helping us actually go off with the deck, so... Yeah. Uh, so we get to draw two cards. We get to play some decent stuff. So we don't have any combo pieces in hand. That may be bad. Do I shock in for this opt? I think I... Uh, I think we play it tapped. That's the turn. I know we're trying to go aggressive for our, our game plan here, but we get Uro on turn three. 
to play this tapped land. Steam vents here now tapped. We get to opt at the end step. Opt. Yeah, we'll keep Grow Spiral. I mean, this this isn't combo pieces. That is one issue. Um, Uro, Temple of Abandon, Grow Spiral in the next turn. All right, now we need to start digging for actual pieces. I mean, we do have this whole game plan of that we could just go for Uro as well, or Big Stone Cold Serpents. Like, that is another side of this deck. We can just go beat down mode if we don't ever find them. Oh, sorry if you guys hear crying in the background. My son just got home. He came inside from having fun, so he might be sad for a moment. We might actually have him uh, come in and make a cameo real quick, too. That'd be pretty fun. Um, I want to keep up some blue mana so we can also grow Spiral. All right, Stomping Ground tapped, passed the turn. Haven't found any combo pieces yet. So, I mean, this is another side of the deck that we've not seen just yet. We've actually hit it for the last three games, like, every time. Scavenging Ooze, that's just rude. Kills both of our Uros. It's really rude. All right, uh, we do get to kill it with Storm's Wrath, which may be worthwhile. Just to keep our life total a little bit higher. Okay, Grow Spiral. Storm's Wrath. I could also just go for like a massive Stone Cold Serpent. Uh, so they get to get a couple more things, but there's no creatures, so that doesn't matter as much. Yeah, exile my graveyard so that Uros have a hard time coming back later. Stomping Ground tap, pass the turn. Alright, so it has to hit something with color. Uh, so Stone Cold Serpent does deal with Ugin, kind of. They get to draw some cards. Bad things happen, but we have an answer. And I think we have to go for it. So we have seven. Pass the turn. So they take up, go to six. We get to hit through two creatures. They draw two cards. It brings them down to two. That's still not a bad play. Karn's Bastion. We are running a little bit light on colors as well. All right, swing at Oogs. Double block, I'm assuming. Oh, sorry, I said down to two, bring him down to three. Greetings from Germany, thanks for the nice MTG content. Hey, thanks so much, Hermazer. Totally butchered that, I'm sure. All right, and that's going to be the other Ugin, which also doesn't kill Stone Cold Serpent, luckily. So Stone Cold Serpent actually pretty good against the Ugin decks. Um, yeah, Oct now to see if we can hit Teferi's Tutelage. Okay, Song of Creation we keep. We don't play it here, though, because we need to be able to find other stuff. Uh, we don't have other blue, green mana, blue mana, so I think we pass a turn and play this on their turn. I, we could Song of Creation to try to find Teferi's Tutelage right now, um, but we, we need to have more blue mana. Actually, you know what? Maybe we could have gone for it. Okay, Proliferate. Because if we do get to draw a lot of cards, we can find the Teferi's Tutelage and hopefully just keep going off. We had Rosewind Act like to find blue mana for us. All right, Nissa, that's fine. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. Rose Spiral now. All right, we have to be able to kill that with Stone Cold Serpent, otherwise we dead. 
are bound by threads of time. All right. Secrets. Which they're going to have five power to block. Oh, man. All right. So can we kill Narset? That's the question. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, that's a lot more power to block with. All right. No! Saga Creation's completely dead with Narset. Um, I don't want to, like, announce, like, hey, we really want your Narset off the battlefield, but uh, we're going to swing at Narset? I can say oops and say, like, oh, man, I meant to swing at Uga, and you might just let that go and be nice to me. Um, all right. Bring it on to one. Yeah. Wait a moment. Oh, pass the turn. <laughs> I, we can still just like top deck to fairy's tutelage, swing in, kill Narset potentially. Oh yeah, that's bad. That's that's really not good. Fabric of the multi. This is almost to the ultimate. Rise, my elemental friend. All right, so I think Storm's Wrath is our best draw now. Storm's Wrath would be pretty sweet. We can just kill Stone Cold Serpent. Ah, oh, come on. All right, well, we get to kill the lands. Don't let them draw. They don't have Karn's Bastion right now, so yeah. Uh, pass the turn. I mean, we still can find uh, Storm's Wrath. But yeah, so Sun Creation can't draw cards because of Narset. Uh, and so that's why we're crying a little bit here. We're still somewhat in the game. A tiny, tiny bit. So Karn's Bastion now, so they can ultimate with Nyssa. Away. Try to draw better stuff. It's a little bit more consistent with Narset now for the negative. Itself serves me. I just the trick for this. Another Nissa. Yeah, that's a decent card to play. That which cannot protect itself. The land shall conquer you. Make another snake? I would love to be able to make another snake. And there's Ugin. We can technically still win through all of this. All we have to do is find Storm's Wrath, Song of Creation, and everything else, and we'd be totally fine. Does that give us a shot? They get to swing through around this, so yeah. Good game. Song of Creation. X5. Yeah, can't draw because of Narcy. And we can see it. Lame sauce. Uh, I knew that this was kind of a janky deck, but I was kind of thinking that we would be able to make it semi consistent. Um, but yeah, not so much yet. Uh, quick reminder too, so I did get some new emotes. Uh, we got some pretty sweet ones, just barely. Uh, the dab and the shocked one are the two new ones at the end there. If you guys have uh, an Amazon Prime account and you have a Twitch account, you can actually use the Amazon Prime account to give you yourself a free subscription every month. Uh, make sure you're using it because it's awesome. And a lot of people don't end up using it, so don't have to use it on me, but just make sure that you are using them. All right, going into the next one. It mills two times every time I cast something with, with uh, blue color. So yeah, Drawn Secrets doesn't quite work with this. You have to have blue and like all of our stuff are, is colorless that we're trying to cast over and over again. This doesn't quite work. Um, well, we have Teferi's Tutelage. We do have Uro. We're on the draw, which isn't great, but we'll keep this. I mean, I can throw out Storm's uh, Ugin's Conjurant just as a blocker if I feel like I need to. And then like Storm's Wrath is not bad.
Yeah, this was really consistent against me. Like, I've lost to it every time I've run up against this deck so far. But that's just because I have that kind of luck where people draw really, really well against me. At least that's the way it feels like. I mean, I do. I have one with this one so far, so there's that. All right, opt is nice. Uh, I am going to go ahead and shock myself. Get the opt, pass the turn. No creature turn one. That's fine. Digging four storms, uh, song of creation. I mean, Ooh, gross spiral. That is a decent play for next turn. We have to shock ourselves again, though. All right, fine. We'll keep it. We do need lands to get to uh, song of creation as well. And we're really hurting ourselves right now, but it's worth it. Totally worth it. <laughs> I could have like Risk Spiral played this at one just to stop a little bit more damage, but that's fine. I think it's fine. It's totally fine. All right, we need lands. There's land. Um, I could go for Teferi's Tutelage now. Let them play something else and then Storm's Wrath. Um, Uro later. I want to go ahead and go for Teferi's Tutelage. Get it onto the battlefield so we don't have to deal with it. Discard a card. Um, is it a land here? Yeah, I guess so. We don't need more than one Teferi's Tutelage, but that's fine. Crawl Harpooner is actually pretty sweet. If Crawl Harpooner had, had haste as well, it would be a pretty busted card. All right, so Storm Strath does hit Vivian a little bit as well. Please slow him down a bit. So definitely going for that. Song of Creation. I think we wait one more turn. I'm a survivor. I'm a survivor. I'm going. Sorry. <clears throat> Questing beastly. Down to two. To that means we can't shock ourselves. That's a good land to draw. Okay. So. Song of Creation. Forest. Uh, go for free spells first. Um... Rose Thorn Acolyte on green. Or I guess we'll see. And having two Teferi's Tutelages would really be really nice here. On green. Play Island, Radical Idea. Oh, come on. And we have so many free spells in this deck that we just can't seem to find them. That would count if we had another land here to play. So, good game. Ah, oh, bummer. They did have the Questing Beast. They went really aggressive. Uh, we did shock ourselves a few times, which might have changed things up a bit. But I don't know. They had Questing Beast. They're still like, yeah. I think we shocked ourselves for four damage, and they still had enough, so. That's cool. That's cool. That's lame. We are getting the combo to go off. We are doing it on like that. We could have gone off on turn four, but then we definitely would have been dead. So I don't know. We are going to make it work though. All right, up against DFS, bring it on. Is that Doofus? All right, we can scry for blue mana. 
Uh, we do have Storm's Wrath, which is nice. Storm Quill, which isn't terrible. Um, tons of card draw, but no combo pieces. I think we mulligan. There we go. Yeah, keep this dropping. Probably Breeding Pool. Just so I don't want to have to shock ourselves too much if we can avoid it. Having lands is nice, though. We don't actually have the ability to play Storm's Wrath, but I want it in hand. I guess if we're going for combo, we don't need Storm's Wrath necessarily. We're gonna try, we're just, we're all in. All in on this. Uh, free spells are nice. It's not a Song of Creation though. Yeah, this is an interesting deck. Like I'm wondering if we need to be just playing more control and like have it be uh, keep building up your stuff, go crazy on later turns. I could wait for Teferi's Tutelage. Now we're trying to find Song of Creation. All right, well, we found it. There's a free spell. So it's a fairy tutelage first. Discard the radical idea. It's another spell that we can cast, but um, I, I think I want to hit my lands consistently as well. All right, Johnny's pride mate. This is fine. Selfless savior, also fine. All right. So we have two turns right now, based off the board state. Um, unless they drop, like, uh, the person that gains them a ton of life for attacking creatures. Alright, pay two Song of Creation. I guess I really didn't need to do that right then. Whatever. I was kind of hoping to hold up blue mana. Yeah, I should, have, I should have held up the breeding pool. That was a misplay. I should have tapped for myself. I kind of figured it would do it, but didn't actually plan that out very well. All right, so I do get to play another land, so I get Radical Idea. The question is, is do we wait another turn instead? Or do I shock myself? So let's see here. They have seven, eight, nine. If they gain any life, we're dead at 11. If I find enough free spells, I can go off, but I think... <sighs> this is tough. There's also enough things, like if they just gain enough life anyway, we're dead. So let's play it tapped, pass the turn. Yep, exile stuff from hand. We get to go off with the radical idea at least. So we get to draw two cards. And have a lot more mana, which is really nice. There is something said about just being able to actually untap with this. Okay, we stay alive. We stay alive. Whoo! Okay, okay. We have a shot. Please don't get rid of my song of creation. Bazir's lieutenant, totally fine. All right, so we're done on the next turn, so we have one more turn to go off. Let's see if we can finally make this work. So each time that we've won a game, or the, the first time we won a game, it was because we actually had these out in the battlefield for an, ex an extra turn. So having that's nice. All right, so I have to use that. So discard the mountain. Don't play it. Don't make that mistake, Jeffy. Okay, draw three cards. Teferi's Tutelage, not bad. We also get to draw a card with that. Uh, I guess maybe. So I get to play two lands. Uh, Ultra plus tall. Uh, I can't say your name right now. <laughs> Sorry. I have dyslexia. I have a really hard time. But thanks so much for the Prime sub. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Mill a couple more times. No, this is not how it should happen. All right. So we need an untapped land. It has to be an untapped land. Or I mean, a, a, not a pain land at least. Because we need to be able to cycle this right now. 
to keep going. Ah, good game. Dang it! Come on, deck. That was the time to not give me all my lands. Ah, come on. We're so close. Overall, Song Mill, um, it is really fun. It's a really fun deck. Uh, I like it lots and lots. Um, I think that overall... See, what's, what's the issue with this one? Is that we... You basically have to be able to get to turn five or six, which is a lot harder to, to live turn five or six. And yes, you can combo off and go crazy, but maybe we just didn't have enough free spells in the deck, which if you take out the free spells, uh, you also are losing being able to like find your, your combo pieces. So you have to, be able to find your combo pieces as well as do all this, as well as have good things that come back after the turn after so you can have the second turn of it because sometimes that's what you need to win the game. And so I'm really in between with this deck uh, as far as like what how to make it work. I know every time I played up against it myself, people just kill me with it. So I'm a little bit bummed that I've not been able to make that work here. Uh, but we did like combo off a few times and go off and try to get there. And we got people down to like five cards left 20 cards left, you know, like it did a pretty good job milling, just didn't quite get there. So overall, the deck is fun. It's definitely uh, needs some work to maybe make it more consistent. So you can go all in on the combo, go all in on trying to find the combo, or you can just kind of do what I did here, which is kind of like a good mix of both. And I do think that this deck, maybe with people just running a little bit better than I do, can make it work. Uh, but overall, really fun deck. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks so much, and bye-bye.